and um I, I reached out to him um chose i've known chose for years now and um he's been a very important person in both of my businesses um and helped me out a lot and he's got a great standing and, and he always helps and supports the community and uh he only surrounds himself around business minded and respectful people and he done that raising his son and everything and i just had mad respect for him as an individual so when i thought of the name 2024 you have a calling and this is the Kobe year. I ain't going to hold you all up. This is for real. This is it. You got to make your mark and make your name and, and, and be remembered by what you're doing. And all of you guys have a purpose in this world. And all of you guys, the universe has spoke to and said, this is it. Get on your grind and get on your hustle and, and, and pack the youth. So when I come up with the name and stuff like that, I thought of every one of you guys and... um. You guys all impact and make a difference in your community. And it starts with the youth. And you guys know that. So I give you guys your flowers and respect for all you guys. I appreciate that. Likewise, too. Yeah, thank you. So, um... Salute to Wayne, too. Wayne, Wayne is, is one of the first people. Him and Relapse Radio was the first one of the to play my single Pop Champagne back in 2016 and it was very influential in me getting the buzz that I got off that song. So I appreciate Big Wayne. Thank you very much. Yeah, no, I, I love Wayne. Um, From the bottom of my heart, he's an amazing, amazing individual. Um, I met him one time. I gave him a massage and um, been connected since. Uh, just a dope energy, just a dope person all the way around. Uh, mad respect, mad respect. But I want to talk to about the youth. What are we going to do in 2024 to make a difference? How can we change? How can we be the difference? PZ, what's your goal to try to make a difference with the youth? PZ? Um, it starts with myself. Yeah, I'm here. Can okay. you hear me? Yep, I can. Hello? Yes, there's just a little leg. Yeah, we can hear me? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's probably uh my ser my service ain't the greatest where I'm at. Okay. But um I think like uh it's a little it's a little bit behind. Yeah, just a little bit. It's okay though. Go ahead. Is it behind? Yeah. Yeah, it's okay though. Yeah, we can still hear you. Alright, so um I think when it when it comes with me, okay, okay. I think when it comes with me, and when it comes to the youth, um, I always tell people that are younger than me, try not to make too many mistakes in life. The older you get, because as adults, we still tend to get stuck in our own ways. We still tend to have these complacencies. We still we still think we are youthful at times. So any young person that I would, I would talk to now, I would tell them to look at their own flaws. Now look at their own flaws. Now look, look at, uh, look at what you think you might be doing wrong versus what you think you're always doing. Right. And I think that's where it starts at. Just point out flaws, point out little simple things that you can improve in yourself. Cause again, like I said, as adults, we, we, we have, we all have, tendencies we all have taught behavior we all have things that we might like to do we, we we have we have we have things that we just we don't want to get rid of as a, as a person in our personality so i probably would just tell the youth man just make one little make one little improvement on your personality to move forward you know what i'm saying because nothing nothing stays the same forever and nothing lasts forever that's facts. Yeah. I don't know if y'all heard that. <laughs> yeah. I can receive that. That's facts. So, Lambo, um... You know what I'm saying? Like, oh. uh, I've, I've made a lot of... Go ahead. No, I was about to say, you know what I'm saying? I think we've all made a lot of mistakes in life. 
and it uh it, it has to trickle down somewhere. Mm. That's all I was about to say. No. I'm not trying. I'm not trying to uh, still still the show or nothing like that. You know. Not at all. Not I know, at I know all. some great some great minds on this podcast right now, so I want to hear everybody. Right. Okay, Lambo. So, um, how are you gonna um affect the youth and make a difference, though? Uh, being more of a show than a teller. You know, um, I more live my life based off of originality than trying to be more flashy. You know what I'm saying? Because I know the kids get hooked in to what's flashy and what's popping, and they don't, they fall, they fall to the originality. A lot of people don't understand or try to figure out who they really are. They really try to build themselves on what they see. And a lot of kids fall to that easy, very easy. Yeah. I just rather, rather, rather be a show of that originality counts and it matters too. <clears throat> you always have to be flashy. You don't always have to have the, the latest things like that. You know, a lot, of, a lot of kids don't grow up knowing what credit is, knowing what value is, knowing what property is, knowing what ownership is, you know. So to be into, I didn't, I never grew up with it. So to be a, a example of that, it, it, it always, I see it make a difference. I can receive that. Oh, chose. How are you gonna make a difference with the youth? That's a good question. Uh, I can only do what I can do. So, being that my area of expertise or my profession is not specifically working with youth, um, I try to help them when I can, how I can. For one, by being a, an example. You know what I'm saying? So. I'm the same wherever you see me. I'm not going to be different in front of these people or, or those people. Um, I'm also the a board member of a elementary school here in my city called East Shore Leadership Academy. Um, and so just being on the board of a school, of an elementary school, I can do things or affect how the youth are affected in that school. You know what I mean? Like, can kind of make some decisions or suggestions that could lead to an improvement in their education there. Um, I also am involved in a, it's called the Lunch Buddy Program at another elementary school where I spend about 30 minutes at a lunch period with a child one day a week. It's not a whole lot. But in that 30 minutes, um, I make that child understand and believe in themselves and the power that they have and help them however I can if they have, you know, like home issues, school issues. So that's how I can affect the youth in the field, in the area that I am in. But outside of that, I don't have like a master plan to go out and physically affect and touch and talk to the youth if that ever presented itself though, I would definitely be all for that because I am very, very uh, passionate about young people because mm -hmm. it sounds cliche when you say the children are our future, but man, if that's not the realest statement I ever heard, because yeah. all the children that we grew up with, they're now adults. If you look around you and see the adults that you grew up with, they might have became something that their moms and, and dads never wanted them to be. So I think it's very essential that each person helps children where they are, and that starts in the home. So if you can get your family structure tight, single fathers, single moms, and all that, like, take care of your kids, man. That's the best I can tell you, and not just financially, but teach them things that can help them be great later on in life. Yeah. Um, I want to say real quick, um. You're downplaying um, who you are because I don't think you really see exactly how much yeah, of an impact you've I wanna, made. I don't want to come off like that. And I, I, no, I feel no, that. No. But you're all, you're very humble and I can respect that and appreciate that. But you've been making a difference in the community, in the youth, all the way from when you were in school. Yes. So, like... You have always put the youth first, um, even from how you raised your son and stuff like that. So I, I've known you for years. So 
I know what impact you've made on people and um, everybody who's ever came in contact with you has nothing bad to say about you and they've all been blessed by having you in their presence. So, um, I, guess it's only you ask. I get it. I get it. I get it. You're humbling yourself and I get that. I get that. But you, every day you do impact the youth or you, you know, you just, yeah, you do. I hope, I hope I do. I, I try. I would like to, but you know, when you got rappers like Lil RT out here influencing the youth, I, ain't much I can do. <laughs> I can't get that type of thing. Man. I get that. That's his pocket, though. That's a they pocket. They don't want to hear an old man like me talking. They want to hear, you know. I feel you. That's a pocket in someone who's um younger in, in the time right now. That's hip. But the, you've made a difference by the stories you've told. You've wrote a lot of stories that impacted a lot of people. And um, being in the social media and... um different media platforms and different TV platforms. Um, you've made a difference in the papers and everything. So um, I get it, though. I get it. I, I get it. I get it. Um, so ask that. How are you going to impact, um, impact the youth? I know you got children and stuff like that. How are you going to impact the youth um, in this year, though? What are you going to do? Uh, yeah, I do got a son. Um, and my strategy so far is growing as I grow into parenthood, but it has been to um, just keep these kids as confident as as possible, and and keep them believing in themselves. And as we, you know, as we get older and technology advances and all this, you know. Um, is so many more opportunities to be your own boss and to not wind up in a system, but to be the system. But, you know, as we get older, you know, and academics fluctuate, finances fluctuate, you know, we go into adulthood and we realize that, oh, uh, maybe, you know, those 12 years of school didn't prepare me for what I thought, what life is actually about to be. I think uh, putting some in somebody that the world can't strip might be the most important thing for me. I can receive that. I can receive that. Um, I, I appreciate the fact that you came back. You and Lambo, I appreciate the fact that both of you guys are coming back into music and hitting it hard as are really making a difference. Just from your sound to who you were before to now, um, is changed and I appreciate that. I can see so much growth in both of you guys. I've heard both of you guys older tracks and the newer tracks and you guys have done so much in growth and change and just elevation all the way. So I'm just you know, I'm respectful of that and I appreciate that. Um need more positive and higher vibrational music. We need somebody to make a difference in what they say so we can pack the youth in a positive manner instead of suppressing them and keeping them in their lower chakras and um feeling like they have nowhere to go but to go in the system because they're closed they close down all the youth programs they close down all the centers anything for the youth but the streets is is gone so yeah. e every time a, a older individual can go out there and speak knowledge to the youth and let them know you know there's another way out there instead of getting into the streets i, I appreciate that honestly um and I've seen I've seen both of you guys' change um dramatically. So I um, kudos to both of you all for that. Yeah, I mean finding yourself is a is a deep journey and there's no manual to it. And there's no you know, there's no timetable to it, there's no script to it. Yeah. You know, um I'm not sure if I've grown. You know, I, I I'm just I'm more confident in who I am and you know in it's you know uh, dropping a veal from around me you know mm. um, so I think it's just power and believing in yourself I, I don't I don't really care too much of how I'm perceived you know okay. um, or how someone perceives me you know I'm always if I'm positive in myself how can I how can I be negative I feel that who can tell me I'm negative you know, but that's the kind of that's the kind of belief system that, that I think these kids need. To, they just need to be into themselves. The world is just it's too much going on. Mm -hmm. yeah, you got to show it's cool to those mm -hmm. all the people that we grew up with wasn't in that school program. So they're just the same people that we went to school. With. And when you I know, when, so, and when I was younger, 
I was told that they could, I could skip school and didn't have to go. I chose to. So, I mean, yeah. it's totally, yeah. Too. I was told you don't have to go. You ain't going to learn nothing anyway. So, like, I chose to, though. My parents, they didn't play about that. They made, they made us go to school. Like, <laughs> they did not play with that. <laughs> For real. Even senior skip day, I was, I was like, I, I was still in school. It was, yeah. School was dead, but I, my sister made sure I was still in school. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I definitely think besides school, these kids kids these days should definitely be picking up some kind of hobby, you know, being in somebody's barbershop, you know, learning something. It's so so much money to get at a young age. Now you can literally come out of high school successful. Facts. You know? Yeah. We, we, you know, um, yeah, but the thing is, though, you got you gotta want to do it, though. You gotta want to do that, though. Like it, it can't be nothing else. Like you have you have to be hungry to do that. The immaturity level is always going to be there when you when you're adolescence. You know what I'm saying? So if you don't pick up on, you know what I'm saying? If you don't pick up on it, you're not gonna want to do it. You gotta show it. Where they gonna pick it up from? That's right. You got to show it. For real. Yeah. I mean, when I was when I was a kid coming up, you know, if, if we had $5 for the ice cream truck, we was big money. Now I see these kids have ways to get <laughs> make a hundred, make a hundred, make a hundred dollars a day at yeah. 10, 11, 12. I mean, success is at your fingertips at a very young age these days. And I think their money That's is good. You know, they want to look like what they see. And in this ways to do it, I think right yeah. now, man, whew, it's a it, it's a it's a pretty it's a it's a space full of opportunity right now. So where, where they know to get it from, though? A lot of them. You say know, what? Uh, I said a lot of them don't know where to get it from. Like a lot of a lot of kids they ain't even out here shoveling snow, cutting grass no more. They're not. Like kids ain't, ain't, I don't even see kids in the neighborhood yeah. outside no more, bro. Like. I literally like you like to say majority of us have uh, we pay bills, probably all homes, probably pay rent, whatever, whatever. But when it comes down to summertime, we will step outside, you don't see no kid out there. You like even if you don't want, even if you are people or you are the man of the house who cut the grass, you know what I'm saying? You can be one, you can be one week and just like, dang, I want to see if it's a kid out here to, to cut my grass. You won't see that. You won't see that. They're you know playing video saying? games. Like, but we yeah. grew up seeing that though. You know what I'm saying? We grew up seeing. We grew up having. Like, I don't know about everybody here, but you know what I'm saying? Like, a lot of people didn't grow up with fathers, but they had that little cousin or they had that other uncle would be like, man, you know, shoveling the snow. Like, we, they, they, we had that. They don't have that no more. All they have is... Hey, we, didn't, we didn't have too many ways to work smarter and not harder. They oh, yeah, knew. Well, definitely. Well, definitely. They, they, they knew. Do. <laughs> it, but that's the point. They don't, they don't want to. Cause they see it's somebody else. They're like, why, why should, why should I go out there and yeah. shovel the snow when they got snow companies they gonna call and do it anyway? Yeah, that's true. You guys back? Have to like yeah. scam, like, scam is the bigger thing, so I don't always have to look for somebody to help me scam. You know what I'm saying? Nowadays, I can just go out, like, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. A grown person just go out there and just shovel a couple 